Coprophagia. Coprophagia, or coprophagy, is the consumption of feces. The word is derived from the Greek kappa pyro omicron sigma copros, feces and phi alpha gamma epsilon nu phagin, to eat. Coprophagy refers to many kinds of feces eating, including eating feces of other species, heterospecifics, of other individuals, allocoprophagy, or one zone, autocoprophagy, those ones deposited or taken directly from the anus. In humans, coprophagia has been described since the late 19th century in individuals with mental illnesses and in unconventional sexual acts. Some animal species eat feces as a normal behavior, in particular logomorphs, rabbits, hares, and picas, who do so to allow tough plant materials to be digested more thoroughly by passing twice through the digestive tract. Other species may eat feces under certain conditions. Coprophagia has been observed in some people with schizophrenia and pica. Coprophagous insects consume and redigest the feces of large animals. These feces contain substantial amounts of semi-digested food, particularly in the case of herbivores, owing to the inefficiency of the large animals' digestive systems. Two feces-eating insects are certain species of fly and the dung beetle. In regards to the dung beetle, their diet is mainly in the form of the microorganism-rich liquid component that is present in the dung of mammals, while they take advantage of the fibrous material in the dung for the female to lay her fertilized eggs in. Termites eat one another's feces as a means of obtaining their hindgut protists. Termites and protists have a symbiotic relationship, for example with a protozoan that allows the termites to digest the cellulose in their diet. For example, in one group of termites, there is a three-way symbiotic relationship termites of the family Rhinotermitidae, cellulolytic protists of the genus Pseudotrichonympa in the guts of these termites, and intracellular bacterial symbionts of the protists. Domesticated and wild mammals are sometimes coprophagic, and in some species this forms an essential part of their method of digesting tough plant material. Dogs may be coprophagic, possibly to rebalance their microbiome or to ingest missing nutrients. Species within the Lagomorpha, rabbits, hares, and picas, produce two types of fecal pellets, hard ones, and soft ones called scotropes. Animals in these species ringus their scotropes, to extract further nutrients. Scotropes derive from chewed plant material that collects in the cecum, a chamber between the large and small intestine, containing large quantities of symbiotic bacteria that help with the digestion of cellulose and also produce certain B vitamins. After excretion of the soft scotrope, it is again eaten whole by the animal and redigested in a special part of the stomach. The pellets remain intact for up to six hours in the stomach. The bacteria within continue to digest the plant carbohydrates. This double digestion process enables these animals to use nutrients that they may have missed during the first passage through the gut, as well as the nutrients formed by the microbial activity and thus ensures that maximum nutrients are derived from the food they eat. This process serves the same purpose within these animals as rumination, cut chewing, does in cattle and sheep. Cattle in the United States are often fed chicken litter. There are concerns that the practice of feeding chicken litter to cattle could lead to bovine spongiform encephalopathy, mad cow disease, because of the crushed bone meal and chicken feet. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration regulates this practice by attempting to prevent the introduction of any part of a cow's brain or spinal cord into livestock feed. Other countries, like Canada, have banned chicken litter for use as a livestock feed. The young of elephants, giant pandas, koalas and hippos eat the feces of their mothers or other animals in the herd, in order to obtain the bacteria required to properly digest vegetation found in their ecosystems. When such animals are born, their intestines are sterile and do not contain these bacteria. Without doing this they would be unable to obtain any nutritional value from plants. Hamsters, guinea pigs, chinchillas, hedgehogs and naked mole rat eat their own droppings which are thought to be a source of vitamins B and K, produced by gut bacteria. Gorillas have been recorded to consume their feces extremely rarely, possibly out of boredom, a desire for warm food, or deringus seeds contained in the feces. Some carnivorous plants, such as pitcher plants of the genus Nepenthes, obtain nourishment from the feces of commensal animals. Lewin reported that, consumption of fresh, Warm camel feces has been recommended by Bedouins as a remedy for bacterial dysentery, its efficacy, probably attributable to the antibiotic subtilism from Bacillus subtilis, was anecdotally confirmed by German soldiers in Africa during World War II. Centuries ago, physicians tasted their patients' feces, to better judge their state and condition. 
Latin, coprophagia is sometimes depicted in pornography, usually under the term scat, from scatology. The 120 Days of Sodom, a novel by the Marquis de Sade written in 1785, is full of detailed descriptions of erotic sadomasochistic coprophagia. Thomas Pynchon's award winning 1973 novel Gravity's Rainbow contains a detailed scene of coprophagia. Francois Rabelais, in his classic Gargantua and Pantagruel, often employs the expression mache merde or mickey merde, meaning shit chewer. This in turn comes from the Greek comedians Aristophanes and particularly Menander, who often use the term scatophagos, sigma kappa alpha tau omicron phi phi gamma omicron sigma. The Austrian actor and pornographic director created the series Avant Garde Extreme and Portrait Extreme, which explores coprophagy, coprophilia, and urolognia. Modern Russian writer Vladimir Sorokin's novel Norma describes a society where coprophagia is institutionalized and mandatory. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.